For Morning Rush, I'm Logan Tittle. A huge molasses spill is killing fish in a Honolulu harbor. HLN has the sticky details. Health officials say as much as 1,400 tons of stuff leaked from a pipeline that was filling a tanker early on Monday. It sank to the bottom, suffocating and forcing fish to the surface. Now, people are being warned not to eat that fish. A KHON reporter went out on the water and saw the damage firsthand. There's dead fish, lots of them. Within minutes, we spotted an eel killed by the sticky stuff. To my left is what the water should look like, blue and clear. But to my right, the water is as dark as molasses. Authorities are also telling people to not wade in the water near the dead fish. KITV reports this is because as the fish die, there will be an increase in sharks and even barracudas in the area. Yikes. We spoke to a biologist who said for the fish, it's as if their house caught on fire. The DNR says those severe environmental impacts are going to be long term. Nutrient rich molasses could cause an unusual increase in harmful bacteria and algae. The Department of Health says it doesn't know how to clean up the mess of more than 200,000 gallons of molasses, so it's leaving it to Mother Nature to dissolve the sugary water. You can see some of these fish. Yeah, it's already killed thousands of them. The problem is that this molasses. Molasses has mixed into the water. Oil rises to the top where it can be cleaned off the water, but molasses sinks. It's still not clear what charges or fines Matson, the company behind the spill, will face. But KHON suggests fines could be well into the thousands of dollars.